Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in on this video. So in this video I'll explain you how you can add modify pieces on um, strange surfaces. So I'll be adding a power supply on top of this machine because we modified the machine. Normally it's used with a car battery. Now it will be used by using a power supply and you can just plug it in into the sockets. I hope this is the right words and so on but I think you get what I mean so it will be exposed to 220 volts here in Belgium instead of the 12 volt or 23 battery um, volt batteries but don't ask me about the electronics I'm a total noob at electronics um, I'm just making the cover and doing some quick changes that are quite easily with the cables and so on but um, yeah, so the thing here I'm doing is I'm going to seal the woods and I'm using the epoxy coating resin. Uh, I'm just adding some black just to have a nice, uh, a nice finish with some black because just because I like it. So it's not a big deal, but it's what I did here. So um, I want to seal the woods to prevent the woods being stuck into the mold. So I'm using the epoxy coating resin from easy composites now it's changed to a new name it's called XCR it's a new formulation and should be even better I haven't tried it yet I'm I've ordered some um, yesterday so there will be some coming um, soon so this is a surface after the first layer and then while it's still tacky I plan to just start adding the second coat and the second coat is what I'm doing right here so this is a second coat after around three hours and I have to say I'm pretty happy about the self-leveling qualities of this resin and it's probably the best thing, best resin I bought uh, last year. So I'm quite curious about the new formulation with the XCR um, epoxy resin. So this is what it looks like. There are some still, um, there are still some little mistakes but these can be sanded off and I have to say as well um, this is just a one-off piece so there will be a quick mold just one piece will be made so the finish is not that important because I can still sand the mold and the part at the end if needed. So as well I have to include there is a little um, fighting gravity um, trick shot in this video. Snapchat user uh, users who follow me will already know where it is. But if you find it give it a thumbs up in this video. So um, the thing I'm doing here is I'm applying the uh, uh, chemical release agent from Easy Composite just to prevent uh, the mold being stuck onto the fiberglass part. I think it's fiberglass, I'm not sure, but fiberglass on fiberglass can be a risky, so make sure you have enough release. So I've added some modeling clay um, just to make the uh, transition from the box till the, um, till the piece. And so here I'm using the uh, tooling gel coats. So um, I'll be using the Unimold system for this to make the molds. So the first part is using a gel coat, then it's with a coupling coat, and then you have the tooling uh, polyester resin on top. So it's all uh, mixed with a catalyst. This will always be a Mac P hardener. I don't think Easy Composite ships the Mac P hardener, but you can find it easily uh, in car shops uh, and so on so this is what it looks like after the first coat I only did one coat you can also do a second coat if you think it's too thin but for me this was okay so this is the coupling coat and as you've seen first it's orange and then when it's mixed it get a brown color so you can apply it um, first on top of the gel coats you can use like a lot because um, the fiberglass coming on top will absorb everything. What I'm doing here is using a surface layer and then on top of the surface layer I'm using a 100, I think it's 100 or you can use a 300 gram square meter fiberglass on top. So this is what it looked like and here I'm using, this is a big bucket and I'm, um, I'm trying some new stuff with editing and so on. So um, this is how a cups fills quite easily so thumbs up if you would like all your cups to be filled like this <laughs> so um, 
Here I'm adding the catalyst as well, so it's I think it's around uh, 0, 0 0.75 to 125, but you can see the technical data sheet on, on the website of Easy Composites. So I'm using a roller just to make sure all the air is removed. It will also level out a bit of the resin to make sure it's not too thick at some pieces, creating overheat and distortion uh, after the demolding. So this is the demolding. Demolding went quite easily, so I like I was quite happy I didn't ruin the part because that would be shit beep. Uh, yes so this is the modeling clay you can reuse it and you can uh, use it back the thing here is due to the shape of the part with the straight edges it's very hard to remove from the from the molds so what I did is I've used some air compressor just to push it out of of the of the mold but you'll see that in the second part of the tutorial as well so here's a trick if you found it give yourself a thumbs up um, it's like a little trick where the resin is not being added to the cup so this is what you can expect from the second part of this tutorial so uh, the video will be online next week and if you've already seen this in delay it should be in <laughs> so here are some other videos you might like. Check out the previous video from last week. And don't forget to follow me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. Thanks for watching.